First story we're diving into is a young lady by the name of Brianna Taylor. Basically, Cotton kicked in the door, waved in the 4-4. All you heard was Brianna ain't talking no more. Here's what happened in the Brianna Taylor saga. New documents are showing a suspected drug dealer police were looking for the night officers shot Taylor made, quote, frequent trips to her home. Tonight, Gavrigegadis has that, plus new comments from the family's nationally known attorney. In January, police believed a suspect that a drug dealer, Jamarcus Glover, was using Brianna Taylor's apartment to ship drugs to avoid detection. The search warrant states Glover and second suspect Adrian Walker used this vehicle to travel to and from a trap house on Elliott Avenue, more than 10 miles from Taylor's apartment on Springfield Drive. In one instance, detectives said Glover was seen picking up a package from Taylor's home and then taking it to another known drug house. He was charged the same morning Taylor was killed. In March, a judge signed a no-knock entry so police could enter the EMT's home for a narcotics investigation without having to identify themselves. But LMPD says detectives knocked several times and announced their presence. Taylor's attorneys, which include National Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump, have four witnesses who plan to prove them wrong. They did not identify themselves and that they were in plain clothes. Kenny Walker right now, his case is so important too because he got charged with attempted murder of a police officer. Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, allegedly shot one of the officers in self-defense. Though he was arrested and charged, records show a judge released him on home incarceration. Wednesday, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher said the Commonwealth's attorney would be recusing himself in Taylor's case because he's prosecuting Kenneth Walker. Our expectations and hope and intentions with this case are to shed light on what is a very corrupt police department um, that has been able through self-policing and investigating itself to get away with these kinds of things too often in the past. LMPD won't comment on pending litigation. Well, before I let you take this point, Larry, this is what the governor of Kentucky had to say. He's saying the Fed should review Rihanna Taylor's case, but we've heard this in our community so many times. So my question to you, Larry, as you expand upon what's going on, is this another one of those justice for a black person i mean it's it's another deal where it seems like nothing's really going to happen they're going to it's going to be a few news stories about it something else is going to take over the news cycle people will forget about it and it's just not much i, I don't believe much is going to happen because these guys are police officers they're going to end up you know once the once some of the heat is off of them they'll go back to what they were doing they're going to police themselves and it's just going to be a nothing burger I mean, the crazy thing is, is that they didn't even mention in here is the gentleman that they were actually looking for had been arrested earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. They were there to execute a warrant on somebody who had already been arrested. I mean, that's just absolute lunacy. And, I this, mean, and this young lady winds up dead. From what I understand, she was an EMT. She was beloved in her community. Um, she was well known by a lot of people in the community. But the story that they're 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 portraying is that the boyfriend was in the drugs, blah blah blah, and like you said, they had a warrant for him. But you said they had him and they released him. Larry, they had no the other the guy that they were that they actually were they were there to execute the warrant on had already been arrested earlier. He was in custody when they executed the warrant. They had a they did that no knock warrant. And they busted in. They didn't have uniforms on. They busted in, didn't announce themselves, and just started shooting the place up. And the person that they were there to actually find was already in police custody because they had arrested him earlier in that day. So if those are the legitimate facts, T-Streams, shouldn't the governor be doing more than calling for action? Shouldn't the governor be saying people need to be thrown in jail? Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, let me let me understand. Understand this clearly. Did uh, the police end up? Were they the ones that killed her? Yeah, the mm. police end up. They shot her like eight times in her bed. I mean, it's just it's 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 just crazy. It's one of these things where it's. I mean, I know I say it. I've said it time and time again. Where I feel like there needs to be some sort of. I I don't. I don't, I, I don't want to say I'm calling for some sort of violence against police officers or other folks, but there, I mean, part of me is like, okay, let the judicial system see what it does. 
but I feel like there needs to be some sort of drop squad in this country. There needs to be some way for people to recognize that if you come after us, there's going to be consequences. There, right now, there are no fucking consequences for killing black people in this country. Yeah. Anybody, and- if you're a freaking cop, you can murder us at will. If you're if you're a white person, you can murder us and pretty much get away with it. Is you know if if it flies under the radar as long as a as long as tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of black people don't start tweeting about it and making a big stink about it online, you can kill black people and get away with it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely crazy. Uh, I've never I've never heard of a uh, no knock order. Uh, I I didn't I never knew that such a thing even existed. It was always uh, it was always when that I'm aware of when police are executing a raid that they announce that they announce themselves. And there's a reason for that to to actually perhaps uh, derail or limit the possibility of gunfights and, you know, potential putting either uh, residents and in arms danger or either the police themselves and then too it's supposed it also is supposed to help alleviate the fact whether or not you're going to the right or incorrect home so uh this this whole no knock order is is something fishy to me uh in the first place uh maybe maybe that's how they doing it down in kentucky uh, i don't i don't know uh but these you know it's these type of things that that can't continue to go um without any solid answers or resolutions to the problems Mm -hmm. um because this is you know when you look at it here here's a, a another case and what makes it difficult is because the police control the narrative you know they they are the ones that 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 write the reports they're the ones that's going to look out for themselves. You know, we, we, we see it all the time where, you know, where, where captains and, and sergeants and majors and commanders all the way down in order to save face. You know, a lot of them, you know, they people, too, they they will bend the rules, to, you know, to save face and, to, you know, to bring that type of heat to, the, to their department. And so they don't uh, bend rules. They don't bend rules. They break them. There is no bending rules when you have when you have sworn an oath. When you have sworn an oath, and as a consequence of swearing that oath, they hand you a gun and a badge and have given you authority to take someone's freedom or someone's life. There is no bending rules. They simply break them. They not only do they break the rules, they break the public trust. They have broken their oath to the Constitution. These people need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Any officer who breaks a law should not suffer the same consequences as a regular citizen. They should have increased penalties because they have not only broken a law, they have broken the public faith. And furthermore, the same should be said about politicians, too, because as we have seen with this current administration, Politicians seem to be above the law if you got an R beside your name. You damn near can get away with murder. Hell, they're talking about the the Republicans in the Supreme Court are saying they don't understand why Congress is coming after Trump's tax return. I mean, this lawlessness is unreal. Blacks and minorities have been complaining about this for years. Now it's on front street in the media And it just seems like there's the tide is not turning quick enough. If the facts are just like we heard on the news story and what Larry's reporting, this is cut and dry. They wasn't coming for her. They wasn't coming for her. And they're saying that witnesses are saying that they didn't, you know, identify themselves, whatever the case may be. And so someone is dead who honestly didn't have anything to do with anything. Yeah. And they say that the boyfriend ended up shooting one of the cops. Yeah. Right. You know, as you know, defending his, you know, his place of residence. I'm I'm surprised that that he didn't get killed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. You think that somebody you have three, you're 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 a black person in a black neighborhood, I'm assuming, and and three white dudes, you have no idea who they are. Three people in general, but three white dudes that are in plain clothes, plain clothes. in your house shooting at 
why the fuck would you not start shooting back? And they're going to charge him with attempted murder of a police officer? No, he was, that's clearly self-defense. I mean, that shit is asinine. They shouldn't even have brought those charges. The DA should just simply say, this is ridiculous. There's no way in hell I'm charging this guy. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. Fellas, the only way it seems like justice is going to get served is we have to keep finding these stories, bringing them to everybody's attention, and hope people share them more often until we get to the point where maybe we can shame people into doing the right thing. I hope. They have no shame. That's the problem. They have no shame because they do not believe that our lives have any value. So they're, they are not ashamed of what they have done or when they have to lie to, to excuse what those other people have done. So they, it, they have no shame in that because they don't see any value in our lives. The and only the way that shame, to it. There, the there only no way shame that shame is going to happen to them is you have to take a story like this and you got to blow it up. Once you get enough media people behind it for some what well, for wrong reasons, it tends to bend the wheel. But here's the problem: it's so many of these things happening. There's no way we can keep up with all of them and report right. on all of them. There's right. no way we can do it. But yeah, if but, but when we do find them, we have got to report on them to try to do the best we can to force justice. And, and this is and I'll tell you as as bad as this is going to sound as effed up as this is going to sound. I wish this would just hurry up and start happening to white people on a regular basis. We need this shit to happen to white people because that's when it stops happening to everybody. That's when it stops happening. When they start doing no knock warrants in these white neighborhoods and busting in and shooting up and killing white EMTs. When, when, when the Breonna Taylor, instead of her being the black girl with the cute chubby cheeks, instead is the white blonde girl with blue eyes that's dressed an EMT driver. That's when this shit stops happening. That's when they start passing laws that say you can no longer execute no knock warrants. That's mm. when they start saying, you have to announce yourself. You can't just bust in and start shooting. Mm -hmm. They don't care about the laws when they only affect us. We need yeah. this stuff to happen to white people. And I fucked up to say it because I don't want anybody to go through this. White, brown, Asian, I don't give, I don't want anybody to go through this. But our country is such that the change will not come until it affects white people. As Yeah, yeah uh, but I mean, what you're saying is, his historically accurate things don't change until they affect the part that they till they affect the people that are the majority in our society and that's a damn shame so like i said fellas we'll keep abreast of these type of stories and we'll report on them to try to keep the heat on these situations as they come